This little mobile scanner actually has all the capabilities of professional scan tools, it just works for these brands, so VAG brands, Skoda, Audi, Seat and Volkswagen. You can use it to do full diagnostics, so you can access every control module, check vehicle's history. I actually find out this car has rolled back odometers for almost 200,000 kilometers using this device. And the great thing is that you can also use it to unlock new features of your vehicle. So let me plug it in and I will show you all it can do. So this is the adapter and you also have three subscriptions to choose from. First one is free, so you don't have to pay anything to use it. If you want to know more information about which adapter and subscription to choose, there will be a link in the description. I have blog reviewed. All of the important details are there. If anything is unclear, go to that article and I am sure you will find answer to everything you want to know. So how you connect is look for your OBD2 port. On most VAG vehicles it will be under the dashboard and it will have pink color. See, this is OBD port. Plug in the device. This is the app OBD11 VAG for car diagnostics. And you also need to have your ignition turned on. So the scanner is able to communicate with your vehicle. Here is OBD11, you don't have to do any pairing, just select here. OBD11. Now we are connected. I am sitting in one of these Skoda Rapid and we can go ahead and press scan which will scan all control modules for fault codes. While it scans you can have ABS or some other light on and that is completely normal. The scan can take up quite some time, maybe 5 minutes, sometimes even 10 minutes if you have a lot of control modules. But for this vehicle it found 10 control modules and we are almost already done so I think it isn't more than 1 minute for this vehicle. We have 6 faulty control modules and now there is a list of control modules and we can see we have some faults in engine, radio, central electrics, dashboard. So we have a bunch of fault codes. For example let's go to engine. Now you get separate menu for each of the control modules. Let's go to faults and here we have list of all faults. If you are not sure what the fault means you can simply press this google button and it will automatically search the code for you and you can read more information. Other than reading codes, you can also read live data from all control modules and this can be used, like I said in intro, I found out this vehicle is actually rolled back. So the dashboard shows less mileage than this car actually has. And let me show you how I found out. So if you go to this live data, this is a list of all the data only from the engine control module. And if you go to this search and type in distance, we can see control module distance driven. And check this out, this is value from odometer, 361,000 kilometers, but the inside stored value of engine control module, if we convert to kilometers, this is in meters, we have 533,000 kilometers. So car was rolled back for almost 200,000 kilometers, that is huge difference. If I didn't find it in engine control module, you can check all of the modules separately. Not every module will store mileage and also older vehicles don't have many mileage records. This works mostly on the newer vehicles. But if I want to check vehicle, what I do is go through control modules one by one and check if they have any distance or mileage data to compare it with odometer. Now the amazing thing about OBD11 is that it is bi-directional and even with the free plan. So you can test basically any component of the vehicle. Check this out. Here is the output test. I am still in engine control module. For example, if I want to check my engine fan, I go to this fan one. I need to hold this button. You can hear my engine fan is already spinning. Now hold stop. So just like that, with just one click on my phone, I was able to test my engine fan and I didn't even have to get out of the vehicle and open my hood to do that. And these tests you can do in all control modules. So for example, if I go to central electrics, go to output tests, for example, low beam lights, start, see and lights are turned on. So amazing tool, bidirectional scanner costs usually around 500 to 3000 dollars. With OBD11 you can have this function for 60 euros just for the adapter. Another amazing feature of OBD11 is that it lets you code new stuff and unlock new features of your vehicle. Check it out, if I go to these apps, these are called the one click applications. Basically this means that OBD11 made all these codings, so you don't have to code it yourself. Everything you can do just with one click. Now the newer is the vehicle, the more of these apps you will be able to do. Check how many are here for the, this Rapid is I think 2018 or something. And you have so many customization available.
This is amazing. Let's try this one. Needle sweep. Basically what this does, if you turn your ignition on, your gauges will do a little spin. So check it out. If I turn my ignition on, it does nothing. Let's use this one click application, turn it on, simply select on, confirm it. We got success message and when I try one more time, see the gauge did a little spin. Now these are some cool modifications and like I said, for a new vehicle like this you have, there must be more, maybe even 100 of these customizations, 50 to 100 different ones. Now two important things about one click applications. First, if you want to check applications directly for your vehicle, the OBD11 will show you a list of possible customizations for your car model. All you have to do is go to link in description I will put link like check OBD11 apps for your vehicle, go through that link, select your vehicle and you can see everything you will be able to do before you buy the adapter. Second thing, this you can see here is the price in credits, every app has its costs in OBD11 credits. These credits you have to pay for, unfortunately, most of the apps cost 10 credits and 10 credits is equivalent of 2 euros. But you don't have to pay for every application, don't worry, because the OBD11 will actually let you code this stuff yourself and it is not hard. So if you don't want to pay for credits, I suggest you watch the next video and I will teach you how to use long coding and code these customizations yourself.